We're back. Welcome back. This is the July edition of the Love Cape Ann Report. So pleased to be here again. I'm Ken Real, CEO of the Cape Ann Chamber of Commerce. And with me today is... I'm Susan Coviello, the Executive Director of the North Shore Health Project and Second Vice President to the Chamber of Commerce, which means in two short years, Ken... I will be your boss. Yes, and we are so looking forward to that, Susan. I am looking forward to that also. So <laughs> why Ken, why is that, Ken's Bruce? Boss. It should be so fun. I love to see it. I'm Bruce, Bruce knows what it's all about. I do, actually. I'm Bruce Feldman from Govan Feldman Insurance Agency, and I'm the president of this chamber board. Uh, awesome. This year. Welcome back, Bruce, and welcome, Susan. Thank you for having to me. To our Thank illustrious you, video podcast, which is so much fun to do. So we're going to talk a little bit um, about, uh, take a look back at June, as we usually do, and then we're going to look forward. And um, as always, we've got a lot of great stuff coming up. But um, quick look back. So June was a big month for us, uh, Small Business Week. What, what, a, what a fantastic week that was. You know, it, it's one of the most rewarding weeks, I think, um, both to, to sort of promote small business on Cape Ann, but also the individuals that received the awards in each of the four communities. And, and this year in Manchester, it was Dave Hersey at uh, Stanley's Garage, and then we were in Rockport, and it was uh, DJ Tardif at um, Bearskin Neck Leathers, and then in Gloucester, it was Rosario Giambanco Floyd at Soft Touch Salon, and Standing Room Only at, at Minglewood um, Harborside, and then Thursday was Michelle French in Essex. Just fantastic people and wonderful businesses, and it's such a pleasure and personally rewarding to be able to basically, you know, put them up on a pedestal and recognize them for their years of service and what they do for the community because it's not just about the business, it's about the individuals and what they do and the volunteering work that they do for the community. Right. So it was wonderful to be able to do that. And, and Saturday, I'm sorry, Friday, Friday, I was not able to be there, but I heard it was a wonderful, wonderful luncheon with, with our elected officials there and, and giving out our scholarships. We gave out um, five scholarships at, at that luncheon so um, just a, a wonderful week overall. it was a great week like that's I, I was at all the receptions and at the luncheon and uh, it was emotional and I just got to learn about you know the different people that were there and it was just a lot I mean it was it was nice it just it, it felt it so it was, I really yeah. enjoyed that yeah it was a good week and then um, and then on we go we had um, we had a huge a huge milestone, which I'll let you talk about Bruce and then we're gonna f switch gears a little bit and talk about some foundation work but um, Yep, we had, what uh, else happened? We had a uh, membership drive in May um, for 2019. It, it was historic. Uh, we had 150 new members. And one of my goals, my top priorities or, or goals as being the president was to hit 1,000 um, members. We're over 1,000 members now, six months into it. So I'm very excited about that. Congratulations, Bruce. That's yeah, a great thank job. You. Yeah, yeah, really, you did a wonderful job yep. with that. And um, it, you know, it was a whole executive committee and, frankly, the whole board and a lot of other people, community leaders that were involved yep. in that. I'd like to thank everybody that uh, participated. It was, it was great. It was and awesome. to thank the new members yes, for and putting to thank their, the new their trust in us, and we'll make them proud. Exactly Absolutely. right. Correct. Thanks for that. And we had a wonderful new member reception um, last week at uh, the Harbor Room, which was a lot of fun. It was about over 100 people there, and we had a nice afternoon and a, a really good turnout and a little update on the chamber. Yep. It was perfect, I understand, except I may have talked a little bit too long, but I can't help myself. Okay. Ken can't, can't help himself. He's always <laughs> talks just a little this bit too long. Like 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes. Okay. It also wasn't perfect because I wasn't there. There so. you go. Absolutely. You missed a very that, nice reception. Yes. I know. So I'm sorry your time, that I your time will come. So thank, thank you to the new members and thank you to the existing members that we have now. Yeah, and really it appreciate it. It makes us the number <laughs> five largest chamber in the Commonwealth, which is quite an accomplishment. Yes. Um, and says a lot about the region and the strong community that we have, the business community, and um, and also the, a lot of other uh, members like our nonprofits and our all of our municipalities are represented within the chamber and our educational organizations. And um, it's an amazing feat for considering a relatively small demographic. So um, I'm very pleased yes. to be able to do that. And it just means that we're more, we're stronger as an organization, and we can offer more to our members as a, a larger um, business group. So, great, well, well done. Was, yeah, it was really good. And then um, we wear another hat, Bruce, you and I, and Susan. Soon yes. you will as well. And um, that is the Cape Ann Community Foundation. Oh. And um, and the foundation was formed by the Cape Ann Chamber of Commerce, and it was formed specifically to manage the proceeds from the Cape Ann license plates. And um, we're thrilled to announce um, six new. Um, grant recipients uh, this year, and um, and I have a list of those here. I'll just read them off. Sure, it was uh, Art Haven, uh, and then um, the the uh, Sun, I think it's a Sunshine um, organization to help um, actually help with um, 
opioid addiction and programs there for recovery, um, pathways for children, uh, Rockport Education Foundation, and um, a school project, actually an uh, astronomy project at, at Rockport High, uh, Wind Hover, uh, also in Rockport, a wonderful dance uh, group and uh, really interesting um, organization, and um, Generous Gardeners. And of course, um, almost everybody um, knows Generous Gardeners, certainly everybody should, um, for what they've done in the beautification Absolutely. Of, yes. of Gloucester and, and especially the Boulevard work is incredible. So yep. the, the grant went to extend the work there. So another $15,000 was let um, as a result of the, the proceeds from the license plate. So, you know, our, our mantra is let's get more plates on the road so we can give more money back to Cape Ann, yep. to the nonprofits Absolutely. and to our schools. It's a wonderful Wonderful way to do that. We love the plate. We love the design. It shows our love and pride of the area every day. And we see more and more of them on the road. And, um, and they're very easy to get. Sign up online, lovecapeband.com, and the plates are mailed to your house. You don't it's need to that, go to the register. It's that easy. It's that easy. Yeah. Of course, you and I, and Susan, I think you as well, were the initial subscribers. So we had to go to the registry. Yes. Uh, but you don't have to go right. any longer. They're mailed to your house, and you just um, destroy your old plates. Done deal. Get them on the road. Good. It's that third year we've given the grants. Third year, so three, almost forty thousand dollars in three years, which That's is amazing. pretty. That's really great. Pretty darn yeah. great it is, and yeah. the money just goes right back to Cape Ann. So, lovecapeann.com. If you have any questions, um, contact the Chamber of Commerce, and um, we can help you sign up. So that was a big deal. Another fifteen thousand dollars out in June, and then one other highlight in June is we had the governor here. We've Governor's been trying breakfast. to get um, Governor Baker here since he was first elected. Um, several years ago, and uh, we had a wonderful breakfast and talked about um, issues and opportunities surrounding not only the, the Commonwealth, but specific to Cape Ann, and talked about housing um, quite a bit, and um, transportation, and, and some other things, and he's, he's just so well um, spoken. I mean, he's a he's, um, very, very good speaker. And, um, I think we're really fortunate, too, because he has such a great relationship with the city of Gloucester and with Cape Ann. Yeah, you're right, Susan. Um, <clears throat> the fact that we have Bruce Tarn and Margaret Fronte awesome. living in Gloucester as well, it's a really strong, cohesive communication package yeah. that goes to the State House. And I think that really showed when um, Governor Baker was here this month. Yeah. I just really, he was comfortable. He knows so much about, very much in depth, about the city and its challenges right. and opportunities, and I think he really let that sort of shine in the room. So nice job, Ken. It was really great. Yeah, great it was a great job. breakfast. Well, thank you. It really was a good breakfast. And, um, you know, he's got an excellent relationship with the mayor, <coughs> right. too. So that was nice to see them. Somebody together. was saying how they were surprised how tall he is. <laughs> 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 oh, I never realized he was that tall. So Yes, indeed. He's a tall man. Um, so that, that was great. So June was a big month for us, mm -hmm. a huge month for us, really, when you think about um, those accomplishments, especially the membership drive was just um, a real milestone for the organization. So up, up we come into July. Here we go. And uh, right outside the chamber's door right now, the last week in June, is, is Fiesta setting up. They were testing the sound um, earlier today. We had to shut all the windows and doors because <laughs> we couldn't hear ourselves talk. But um, a fiesta is happening. Uh, it's happening. You know, it's happening literally tomorrow. Starts Wednesday, and uh, we'll go through the weekend, and then we go right into the Fourth of July. It's unbelievable. The Fourth is already is, here because the weather's been so mixed. With the Horribles Parade on the third. You're right, Horribles <laughs> Parade. Yep, that's going to be fun. And then, um, and then we go into our first block party. And our I'm so excited. Intro, and drum roll. Susan. Susan. Susan is our program manager. Um, this year, and thanks for doing that, Susan. You're doing a really good job. Oh, you're welcome. So Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. I would love to. So the first block party is Saturday, July 13th from 6 to 10 p.m. The roads, Main Street, and the, the crossroads will be closing at 5 p.m. Parking will be banned before that on Main Street. So make sure you pay attention if you're parking downtown um, Gloucester. Make sure if there's a sign on your meter, you get your car out of there by the time it says... Um, we are expecting lots of Main Street businesses to participate, as always. They're always very generous and, and either bring their, their wares out onto the street or open their doors and welcome people into their shops and their restaurants. And it's really an exciting, vibrant time. We have lots of nonprofits that will be set up up and down the street, mm -hmm. as well as food vendors and local restaurants who will also be open that evening. Lots of games, of course, and fun for the kids. 
We have lots of entertainment that is actually planned, and I'm excited about the lineup. Yeah. And I want to thank Will Hunt. Will does all the um, entertainment lineup, and he has a great slate for us for Saturday the 13th, including Alan Estes and Ken Steiner, Carlos Sicada and the Mediterranean Sounds, Gloucester Kids Stage and Zach and Jules, the Jantels and Down Home Swing. They're always really yeah, fun. Yeah, fun. Uh, the Elaine and Jeff and the Buckners. Uh, those will be the, mu the music uh, entertainment for the evening, all the way from the West End, all the way up to Bank Gloucester. In addition to that, at Maine and Hancock, that's where we have the main stage for a lot of the performers. We have the Red Trouser Show, which is acrobatics and lots and lots of fun. He is awesome. It's, awesome. It's so much fun. So awesome. I've seen him before, and I've yeah. had great conversations with him oh, good. in preparation for the block parties. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're also going to have a special pr pr uh, presentation by Cape Band Dance sometime at that location at yeah. the same time. Yeah. And then we'll have some aerials at the other end of town. Of, uh, the West End. The yeah. West End yeah. as well. And that's Kate the Great. Kate the Great. Yes. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. And Kate then, great. so we're real excited again. That's Saturday, um, August, uh, July 13th from 6 to 10. And then our future dates are Saturday, August 10th. And then Friday, August 30th, the beginning of Schooner Festival weekend is when we'll do our final block party, Saturday, August, uh, Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday, August 30th, again from 6 to 10. And if I didn't make too many mistakes, Ken will have me back. And I can talk about, <laughs> I can talk about August next month so far it's a lot of fun and you're doing a great job and can I, you tell us a little bit about the sponsors i would Ken? love to i'm so pleased you asked Susan. thank you so much ken yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um we've got rockport mortgage again um as our pre presenting sponsor this year which is fabulous that they do that it's it's a huge give back to the community um, we have three stage sponsors so we have three musical stages and a sponsor for each one of those stages and they are bank loster cape Ann savings bank and institution for savings and a huge shout out to them and then we have a number of gold sponsors this year. Our sponsorships are growing because it's really recognized as, as the community event, certainly for Gloucester. It's, it's personally rewarding and, and so nice to see so many families on the street and so many young people, kids. And, and I, I think um, it just really pulls people out and puts them down on Main Street, which is a, a great way to spend an evening. Um, Applied Materials, Beth Israel, Addison Gilbert Hospital, uh, Leahy Health, The Building Center, Endicott College, Engel and Volkers, Jay Barrett, and um, Seashore Comfort. Comfort Solutions. Thank you. Thanks so much to all of our sponsors. Absolutely. They really they helped to make that's this great. event possible. And um, and in partnership with the city of Gloucester as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right, Susan. Thanks for saying that. We've got a great relationship with the city as yep. well, and it's a, it's a good team. So we're looking forward to that. Looking I'm so excited. To the make sure you all come down. Yeah, it's going to be great. And then, following just the next week, is our big fundraiser. The auction. Yes. And that's our annual auction. 32nd year this year. Wow. Um, back at the Beauport Hotel. This will be um, year three to be at the Beauport. It's, it is a marquee venue, you know, on Cape Ann. And um, they do so a one, such a wonderful job in hosting us and hosting all the events there. And um, we are, believe it or not, we are almost sold out. That's great. We, we have that's about wonderful. 20 seats left wow. with three weeks to go. And um, so if you're interested in going, please contact us it's right a fun away. Time. It's a wonderful time. And and went to Africa last year. Well, he, he yep. went last year. Yeah, so our, we've second. got a couple of big trips. And, um, and uh, the uh, two big ones are the uh, South African Safari, which my wife uh, Holly and I did and just had an incredible time. We also went to Cape Town while we were there. We're doing a little slideshow on Thursday to uh, do some highlights on that. And then, um, so that, that was a trip of a lifetime for us. And others who have done it uh, have had similar experiences. And then also we've got a trip to Tuscany. And um, really good value at the auction. Usually you can get it for a good price. And you're going to send, send me that, right? I uh, asked about it. Oh, yeah, you're right, Bruce. I am going to send you that. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and it's a great way to see the world. And also it's a donation to the chamber. So um, it's win-win. I it. heard there's something special this year, too. Is it the curtains going to be open at the beginning? Uh, that so could very see. well be. We'll have to see. <laughs> we'll see what the night brings. All right. So, Ken, if anybody is interested in one of those 20 tickets that's still available, how do Cape, they get them? Um, call the chamber. So it's capanchamber.com. Uh, it will be uh, on the website or call us at 283-1601. Thanks, Susan. The um, other things, uh, we have some wonderful sporting um, tickets to professional sports. We also have incredible art, art. with um, uh, Robert Groupie, um, John, John Terlack and uh, 
Ken Knowles, and then several others, a lot of other paintings. John Casiano, too, right, this year? Um, we're talking to John, yeah. yeah. And Come, so, on, John. Uh, Come on, John. <laughs> and and wonderful painting. So if you're if you love art, um, please join to to um, look at that and um, help to support our artist community because um, some of those proceeds go back to the artists yep. themselves. And it's we silent and live, right? Yep, we have about thirty items that are live and about sixty in silent. And the um, doors open at five o'clock and we'll be done by about nine. Yeah. How significant is this a fundraiser for the chamber? Yeah, great question. So this is our big fundraiser. So as a reminder, um, we are a nonprofit. You know, you don't really think of the Chamber of Commerce as a nonprofit, right. but we're a nonprofit. Anything that we make goes right back into the organization and goes back into member services. And uh, we've actually made that investment last year in, in moving one of our people, Barb Sinkowitz, over to be a full-time membership director. That's an investment in our membership. Right. And um, having a good fundraiser, like a strong auction, allows us to do things like that. So we talk about our mission at the auction, and we're going we're gonna to have several community and chamber leaders um, literally get up and have very brief testimonials as to what we do for um, our business and our residents' community. So it's a great event. It's a, it's a fun night. It's a fun it's night, and we're looking forward to that. It's really and then, fun. And then after that, then we go right into all of our summertime events, which... We won't hit on now, but um, Waterfront Festival and Festival by the Sea and more block parties and every single weekend in August, there is literally wow. something going on that we are either leading or supporting. Of course, um, Riverfest is coming to Gloucester this year, which is oh, going that's to be right, huge, that's huge, huge, huge. When's the big reveal for that? Uh, well, it's out there. I mean, it's being promoted, so it's August 24th. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm um, not sure and, the lineup has been announced yet. Uh, that's interesting. So I don't know for sure. I thought that it would have been. I'm not sure it's been announced okay, yet. Okay, so I, I won't no, but I wouldn't give anything up. You wouldn't up. know it anyway. Would, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> anything else, guys? Otherwise, I think it's a wrap. I'm good. I think we're good. Thank well, thanks all. so much. That was a really good update. Thank you, Susan. And uh, we look all forward right. to talking again. Thanks in, for having um, me. Yeah, it was fun. Look forward to talking again in a month. It's fun. Thanks. Thank you.